Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Lenovo Legion Gaming Laptop, and in this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to upgrade your secondary drive to an SSD drive. So the original laptop that comes with regular spinning drive, and in this video, I'm going to upgrade it to a solid state drive. Therefore, I wouldn't have any lag when I play games or increase my performance in my laptop. All right, so the first thing I like to do is to identify the model here. If you flip it around at the back of your laptop, take a look here, it says Lenovo Legion Y740-17IRH. All right, so let's go ahead and start removing the screw and remove the back cover here. So go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. The screw are quite small, so find that tiny screwdriver that you have. The two screws on the top left and top right, you can remove them. The two middle screws on the top, they do not come off. So just leave it as is, but you just have to keep unscrewing until it's loose. Here, right in the center of the back plate, the screw is really small, so make sure you do not lose them. Put them on the side. So the two screws here in the middle, they are long screws and there are four short screws here at the very bottom. Once you have removed all that four screws here at the bottom, let's put them on the side. The next step is to go ahead and pry open the back cover. So what you want to do is you want to go to the corner, whichever corner you feel like there's a little gap of opening. My one here is at the bottom left. Stick my metal prying tool. Get a good opening here at the very bottom. Okay and I start to work my way around it by simply putting my finger in between and separate the back cover. So here on the very top, what I'm doing is I'm just wiggle, wiggle while lifting it up. Try not to yank it all at one time. You just want to loosen that plastic and open up your back cover. So once the back cover is removed, put it on the side. Here you can see your entire laptop. So the first thing to identify is your bottom left here is your 2.5 inch regular hard drive. So if you have information in the drive and while you install the new hard drive, the new SSD, the information does not go over to the new SSD. What you need to do is you need to maybe transfer the data first to an external drive, meaning that before you do this project, you want to move your information from here to an external drive. And once you replace with the SSD drive, then you can copy the external drive data that you have done earlier and move it to the new SSD drive. Hopefully that helps and explain uh, the data does not go into the new drive unless you transfer it before this video. Alright, so the next step is to go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using the same screwdriver, remove the four screws. Once you have done removing the four screws, go ahead and lift up the, uh, the hard drive and be gentle. Do not break that cable. 
you want to disconnect that SATA connector right there. So what I did was I used my thumbnail, fingernail, and push that connector away from the hard drive. All right, so once you have the hard drive removed, do not forget to remove another four more screws because we need to use the reuse the hard drive bracket and move it over to the SSD drive. Okay, once you have done that process, remove the hard drive. Let's put the hard drive on the side and transfer the SSD onto the bracket. Remember to put the four screws back in because it's part of the, uh, the process. Okay, now the next step is to connect the SATA connector. Push it in and align the bracket right into the right position here. Once you have done that part, remember the four screws. Go ahead and put it back in. Alright, so you have finished installing your SSD drive. Now the next process is to go ahead and put back the back cover. I like to start out from the top. So on the top here, you want to kind of snug it in, tuck it in, push it all the way in. Make sure you align them in the right position. Okay. and then press it down a little bit. Now you want to start putting all the screws back together. I'm not going to do that part because I know that it is very simple and you should be able to do so by yourself. Um, I just wanted to point it out to you that when you install a brand new SSD drive, okay, so when you install a brand new SSD drive, it doesn't mean that it is ready for you to use it because you still have to initialize the hard drive. What that means is a brand new SSD drive that comes out from the, from the box, I assume that you just bought it, right? And once you install it and you turn on your computer, it doesn't seize the drive at all. Maybe the BIOS would see the hard drive but not the windows, all right? So let's assuming that you boot to the window screen. Uh, what you wanna do is Windows 10 on the bottom left corner, you want to right click on that Windows icon, that Windows logo, right click on that, and go to Disk Management. In the Disk Management, you need to initialize and format the brand new SSD drive. After you have done that part, then the windows would be able to see the drive um, from then on okay so if you're using windows 11 the windows icon would be right in the center right click on that windows icon go to this management and you need to initialize the hard drive and you will run through the process of formatting it therefore you can see the drive once you have done that process now you can transfer the data from the external drive over to the new SSD drive. Okay, so now um, that would be the process of how to upgrade your current hard drive to a new SSD drive. If you're not sure where to buy the hard drive or the tools, 
what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below where you can go to Amazon directly or eBay to buy the tools and the replacement part and follow along this video all right so I hope this video is helpful and if it is please do not forget to like the video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe thanks for watching I hope that this video is a success for you and until next time bye now